get one of us back in here. Push it in. Free, freer than a free sample at Costco, your dog water. Oh! Oh, he's so bad! I'm gonna let out right there. Uh, oh. Down a guy on that roof. Uh, somewhere up high. Oh, who's. Killed them Ooh. both. Oh, I killed this guy, not that guy up there. Come on, buddy. Oh my god! Yikes. Yeah. I'm just. Not used to my bullet drop already. Gotta get warmed up. I got beam. I got absolutely fucking beam somewhere. I don't know where. They're both dead. You're good. Nice shot, bro. Dude, how? Oh, he's knocked. Dude, did you just see that? Oh my god! Dude, I just did that kid so fucking dirty. And you can like upgrade the shit. Oh, he's knocked. He's knocked up there, dog. Fire sale. Guy on top of the roof. I down the guy in the hospital. Oh, nice. Back up, back here. I can't, I can't get, I do. Oh, I downed him, you're good. Where the me. fuck's this guy that's shooting me? So I've been found out that the game I've been waiting for just got delayed. What okay. game? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Holy Jarvis! If you guys made it to this end of the video, um, I really appreciate you guys being here and just hearing me out with what I'm going through. This portion of the video is a kind of discussion slash helpful tips slash whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm kind of break I'm breaking this part of the video up into three topics. But first off, I want to start off with Obey Alliance. As you guys know, I was originally going for the Obey RC back in June of 2020. Uh, I went at it pretty shitty, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kind of threw myself at it, and I said, fuck it, let's do it. And I, now that I look back at it, I'm doing a lot better compared to what I was doing it then. Because right now, um, Obey Alliance has taught me a lot of things when it comes to content creation, okay? First thing they taught me was growing yourself and making your own sort of audience on your own platform. Now, when I say you're grinding for Obey Alliance, I want you to know that they're there to push you out of your comfort zone. They're there to get you where you should want to be at. They're there to support you, but if you're not willing to put in the work and the effort of getting into an organization like Obey Alliance, you, you're not going to get into it. You're not going to make it. But you have to want it, man. Like, it's fucking crazy the amount of fucking time and effort I've been putting into writing this, making this shit happen, compared to when I was going for the Obey Alliance recruitment challenge. The Obey RC Awaken and the Awaken I'm pursuing right now is completely different. Completely fucking different. The circumstances are different. My schedule is different. My genuine support towards other people and my emotions are different. Posting consistently, it doesn't have to be every day, but you have to stay consistent. That is the biggest number one thing in grinding for any sort of organization, phase, Obey Alliance, or uh, shit like that. People think it's like a one month thing. 
people think, oh, I'll make it in a month, 100%. If I don't make it in a month, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, they think, they think short term. They don't, people don't want short term goal oriented people. And just getting yourself out there, the fact that like, people underestimate the use of social media. People underestimate the use of TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Whatever the fuck you can post on, post it. Just post it, man. It doesn't hurt to post. It's gonna take time. Now, if you're out here streaming eight hours a day on Twitch and not doing anything else, you're already behind. You're already setting yourself up for failure when you're not posting on social media. Now, social media is so big nowadays that everybody's on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, whatever the fuck, Facebook, and and people don't have enough time to come in your chat and watch you play for eight hours. That's just, it's not gonna be a constant revenue of support. That being said, I'm not, I'm saying rather than stream for eight hours, Stream for like four hours, stream for like four or five hours, and use the rest of those, the time remaining you had when you would have streamed eight hours to, you know, edit a TikTok, edit a video, fucking post on other social media platforms. Streaming on Twitch is fucking impossible when you already don't have a fan base. Like, you're still trying to grow your fan base and grow as a streamer. Post on other fucking social media platforms. Twitch, Instagram, or Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever the fuck you can to get yourself out there. Because just streaming on Twitch alone, nobody's going to scroll to the bottom of the goddamn viewer list for, let's say, Warzone. Because that's what I play Warzone. There's 150,000 people watching Warzone. And I can't even count the amount of people that actually stream it. I think being resourceful is very key when it comes to grinding for obey alliance or any other organization you're trying to get towards i think that's about it i think that about wraps up the obey alliance discussion number two i also wanted to bring up the fact that uh my day-to-day -day stream schedule so um i've had a bunch of people kind of react to this differently in terms of how i spend my time monday through friday if you guys didn't know uh since my last video i've moved out I have I work assembly line at Honda Manufacturing, so I create transmissions Monday through Friday, 4 p 4:30 p.m. to 1 a.m. So normally when I get off at 1 a.m., I go home, get wrap it up, um, finish out my night, hang out with my girlfriend a little bit, go to bed around 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. 3 a.m. around 8 a.m. is when I get up in the morning. I get up at 8 a.m. sharp every morning, Monday through Friday, just so I can have enough time to stream about three to four hours, but also have an hour to wake up, practice, you know, work on what I'm going to do today and figure out what's happening. Because when I get up at 8 a.m., I get up, get some food, you know, try to wake up, get some water in me, go to the bathroom, do what I got to do, tweet out and go live around 9 a.m. Eastern, if you guys didn't know that. Twitch.tv forward slash AwakenTL. 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, I go live, in case you guys didn't know that. But um, I stream from about 9 a.m. to about 1 p.m. It gives me about a little nice four-hour stream. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I stream, and then around 2 p.m., I post a TikTok. So between 1 p.m. and 2 o'clock is when I put, when I edit a video, make it a little montage of what happened on the screen, post it on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and then about 3 o'clock is when I get ready for work and uh, leave the house around 3.30, get to work about 4 o'clock, and then start up my work at about 4.30, get home around 1, and then hang out with the girlfriend, do whatever I gotta do, and then go to bed around two or three. And then get back up at eight o'clock. Every day, every day. But uh, before I do wrap up the second discussion, I just wanted to say, I wanted to make this video for you guys, because I know there's not a many of you, but I do appreciate everybody that does support me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all my friends and family, everybody. I know it's a struggle, especially. I wanna apologize to my girlfriend in advance, because, uh, She's the one that's got to deal with my dumbass. But uh, also, I do have a new car. 
in case you guys didn't know since last time we I made a YouTube video I'll throw it up here and uh, I got that to pay for so I got big boy bills I got big boy shit to do so it's definitely a lot different compared to when I was uh, when I was uh, living with my grandmother now number three that's up for discussion I would say grinding helping grinders okay so number three I wanted to break this up for to help any obey grinders because I want to see everybody succeed I want to see everybody happy and just aspire to do whatever they want to do because I personally I love seeing somebody that can pursue their dreams and happily say that they did it that's fucking amazing I don't care what you do what your dream is what you're doing day to day as long as it's helpful to the world and you're doing what you love rather than following what everybody else does i think you set the bar for everybody i think it's you're going to aspire to influence other people to do what they want to do when i was younger i was always a uh i was always watching youtube when i was about eight years old i would play world of warcraft with my buddies and uh that's when i first started genuinely watching and playing on my pc and uh, when I was growing up, around 11 years old, I started getting into electronics. So I would watch PewDiePie. That was a big influence for me. Um, you know, there's so many influential people I've got in my life. Um, XXX Tentacion is another one of them. A very big influence in my life. I dedicated this tattoo on my arm to him. I'm probably gonna be getting more tattoos dedicated in his honor because that was like, he was like a brother to me. I've got obviously I'm an X fan. I've got his uh, poster right here. I've got his vinyls. I've got one of his X chains up there. My little my girlfriend's fucking jewelry box. And uh, I just think having somebody to look up to that's a positive influence in the light in the world and looking to see everybody succeed is a major key factor. Um, and just aspiring to influence others to do their due diligence and follow their dreams alone, I think is fucking amazing. Um, but for all the obey, obey grinders out there, man, I really just want to say it's all up to you, man. It's up to you if you join obey or not. I think that saying you can't do that or you don't have enough time is bullshit I really think that um, because if I'm if I myself am able to work a full-time job and stream for four hours a day on top of making content for all platforms and eventually I'm gonna start uploading to YouTube again you should be able to make it to anything anything you want to do you can do I think it's all up to you whether or not you make it also before i go i do want to let you guys know i'm gonna try and upload youtube weekly maybe like a little weekly montage i upload if the girlfriend doesn't rip my head off but um i can't guarantee the weekly montages i could try i'm gonna try and make those saturdays um saturday montages i'll put them up you guys fucking hit that sub button hit the notification game i love you guys I appreciate all the support everybody's been giving me, my friends, my family, everybody in Obey, and uh, just everything. Other than that, man, take it slow. You're not going to be fucking, you're not going to be a case clan. Don't expect to be a huge fucking streamer in a matter of a month, because it's you're just going to fucking burn yourself out. You're going to not have fun. You're not going to be, you're going to think you can't do it. You can't do this. You can't do that and it burns you out man it really does it really fucking hits you but if there's anything i want you guys to learn from this i do i want you guys to learn that uh follow your dreams man there's nothing worse than not being able to do what you want to do for the rest of your life because when people say man you get up at 8 a.m every day and stream and play games and do all this shit you're working you're like working two jobs and I say no, I only work one job and I only work at Honda. Cause me streaming and do all this content creation, all that shit, that's not that's not a job to me. That's fucking that's my dream. 
that's my that's what I aspire to be every day so don't worry about numbers don't worry about none of that as long as you're making content that will change somebody's life for the greater good is always a plus but that about wraps up everything for in terms of this video um that's about that's about all I've got. Um, I do want to let you guys know finally before the end of the video um I am live Monday through Friday 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time I'm either I'm always playing Warzone or some other game it depends the weekend streams are very very rare but they do happen follow me on twitter i'll tweet out let you guys know if i'm streaming earlier in the week not the last minute thing um also expect weekly uploads on the weekends saturdays about i'd say about two or three o'clock maybe somewhere around there but i can't put a set time just expect weekly uploads um other than that boys that's about all i've got but other than that i love you guys i hope you guys have a great time uh, I'll be live Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern, and uh, I love you guys. Have a great day. Hashtag you shall obey.